beloved. We are gathered here in the presence of God himself and with this fellowship to join Barry and Heather together in Christian marriage. Marriage is a covenant of faith and trust between a man and a woman established within their shared commitment of faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. It therefore requires of both man and woman openness in life and thought, freedom from doubt and suspicion, and commitment to speak truth and love as they grow in their relationship with God. Marriage is also a covenant of hope that endures all trials and in which both the husband and the wife devote themselves to interpreting each other's behavior with understanding and compassion, never giving up communicating each with each other in love. Indeed, marriage is a covenant of such love in which both partners empty themselves of selfishness and take upon themselves the concerns of one another and so love each other as Jesus himself loved the church and gave himself up for it. In light of all of this, marriage is not to be entered into recklessly or with indifference. It should, however, be approached reverently, discreetly, advisedly, intentionally, and soberly with the fear and respect of God who created it. Into this holy institution, Barry and Heather have now come to be joined. Barry and Heather, would you please face each other? Barry, do you take Heather to be your wedded wife, to live together in a covenant of faith, hope, and love according to God's intentions for your lives together in Jesus Christ? Do you commit to listen to her innermost thoughts, to be considerate and tender in your care of her, to give her honor before others and before God? to stand by her faithfully in sickness and in health, to dedicate yourself to her above all earthly priorities in the strength of the Holy Spirit as long as you both shall live? I do. Heather, you take Barry to be your wedded husband, to live together with him in a covenant of faith, hope, and love according to God's intentions for your lives together in Jesus Christ. You commit to listen to his innermost thoughts, to be considerate and helpful in your support of him, to give him honor before others and before God, to stand by him faithfully as he leads your family in both sickness and in health, and to dedicate yourself to him above all earthly priorities in the strength of the Holy Spirit, as long as you both shall live? I do. Mary and Heather, let me begin this portion of our service by thanking you for allowing us all to take part in this special day. You didn't have to get married in a church, and you didn't have to invite all of us here to take part in it with you. But you chose to honor God, and you chose to honor all of us. And I just want to thank you for letting us take part in it. It's an honor and a privilege to be here today. Barry and Heather, several months ago, you walked into my office for the first in a series of premarital counseling sessions. And we sat down together and we studied the Word of God and found principles that you could apply to your lives and to your relationship that would give you a solid marriage for the years to come. And during that time, I encouraged you to give your lives totally to the Lord and to give your marriage totally to the Lord Jesus Christ. And over those, that period of time, I saw that you were seriously trying to do that. You seriously wanted to give your lives to God. And I appreciate that. And so today I'd like to give you one final premarital counseling session. And during our time together, I want to give you two words of encouragement that will help you in, the marriage, in your marriage to come. Barry, as I've gotten to know you over the months, I've learned that you're very talented in the business of making videos. As a matter of fact, all of this equipment that we see here is all your stuff. And, and up to about 10 minutes before the wedding began, you were out there making sure that these cameras we're working. Now I don't know a lot about video production, but I do know one thing, that if you want a good, high quality, professional video, you've got to have cameras that are focused. They have to be focused perfectly if you want a perfect picture on the video. And Barry and Heather, I want to encourage you as the first word of encouragement to keep your relationship focused. And what am I talking about with focus? Well, Barry and Heather, if you want a marriage that's full of color and vitality, if you want a marriage that makes beautiful surround sound music the rest of your life, you must be focused on one primary thing. 
And that primary thing is your relationship with God. The Bible says to fix our eyes upon Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. And I want to encourage you to focus your eyes on Jesus in your lives. Now, how do you do that? Well, you do it through a number of disciplines. One way to do it is through prayer. And I encourage you every day of your lives to present your marriage to God in prayer. Get on your knees and pray that the Lord would bless your marriage and God will. Also, I want to encourage you to have the discipline of listening and responding to God's word every day. Read the Bible. Have a quiet time with God alone every day. And listen to his insights and his advice for your relationship. And he'll guide you through the storms of life and give you a marriage that's focused properly. Heather, one of the things I learned about you is that you really like fireworks. As a matter of fact, you were in my office one day and uh, you said you loved fireworks. And this is a great time of year to talk about fireworks. We got the 4th of July celebration just around the corner. And as I was thinking about, an idea popped into my mind, and that was the second word of advice that I have for you today. Keep the fireworks in your relationship. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, what I mean is make a proactive effort to spend time and stoke the flames of romance and just have fun in your lives together. Go on weekly dates together. Consistently steal away to secret and romantic hideaways and spend time making your relationship a priority. Budget your time and your finances for the rest of your lives into your relationship. And make no apology for lighting the fireworks of love, intimacy, romance, and connection in your lives. Make that a discipline in your lives. And God will bless you and give you fireworks in your relationship. <laughs> Two words of advice. Keep your focus on Christ through daily prayer and obedience to his word. And keep your fireworks lit in your marriage through intentionally spending enjoyable time together. Now this isn't going to happen by accident. You have to make these disciplines in your life, so make them a priority. And Barry and Heather, every time that you look through a camera from now on to focus it, and every time you see a fireworks display, my hope is that you'll remember these disciplines in your life. Now I'd like to say a brief word to you, the friends and family of Barry and Heather this afternoon. By being here this afternoon and, and watching this ceremony, you are in essence saying that you agree with this marriage. And you are witnesses to a holy and sacred vow that they will be making before God and before you this afternoon. Now I want to encourage you to remember that vow in the years to come. In a little while, this wedding ceremony will be over. In a little while, the honeymoon will be over. And what will remain? Well, what will remain is a relationship that's going to need your help through the storms of life. There are going to be all kinds of winds that will blow, that will try to douse their fireworks, that will try to get them off focus. And I just want to encourage you to commit with me to being a, a force that shields them from those outside destructive avenues to their relationship. Make a commitment to me to never be a divisive force in their relationship and to never cause division between the two of them. Would you commit that with me today? I also have something else I'd like to share with you. Uh, Barry and Heather asked me specifically to share with you how important God is to their relationship. Now, we've already sung some worship songs earlier today, and I was talking about Jesus to Barry and Heather. And maybe you were sitting here, and you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, and you're, you're thinking, what in the world are they talking about? But I want to encourage you to investigate what we were talking about. Because I know as a fact that the, the strength of their relationship is their relationship with God. As a matter of fact, Heather uh, really wanted me to share that her wedding ring is in the shape of a triangle. If you look at the diamond configuration on her wedding ring, it's in the shape of a triangle. And that triangle symbolizes their relationship with God. The two bottom corners are Barry and Heather, and the top, the tip of the triangle, is God. And they understand that as they grow closer to that tip, as they grow closer to God through their relationship with Christ, they'll grow closer to one another, and they'll have a healthier relationship. And there are some principles that we can learn from that. 
And one of them is, as we grow closer to God, we become healthier. Maybe you're here today and you've got enormous pain. Maybe there are areas of your lives that are broken. I want to invite you to get to know the Lord. Accept the offer of Jesus Christ in the cross. And if you don't know how to do that, talk to Barry or Heather, and they will, they will help you to do that. Or come talk to me. We would love to share the source of our strength and our inspiration with you. And I think that would be the greatest wedding present that you could give them today. Would you join me in a word of prayer as I pray for our role in their marriage? Father God, I want to thank you so much for Barry and Heather and their relationship and their desire to follow you. And I pray, Lord, that as we interact with them in the future of their relationship, that we would always be a source of unity and never division. Lord, I pray that we would be a protective shield against the forces that will seek to get them out of focus and that would seek to snuff out the fireworks of life in their relationship. Lord, I also pray for anybody here who may not know you. I pray that you would give them an overwhelming sense of your love. Let them know that you deeply love them. And I pray that you would help them on this path to getting to know you. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Barry and Heather, would you please face each other again? Barry, would you please repeat after me? I, Barry Tate, take you, Heather Hall, to be my wedded wife. I, Barry Tate, take you, Heather Hall, to be my wedded wife. To love and to cherish from this day forward. To love and to cherish from this day forward. I will honor you. I will honor you. And trust you. And trust you. With all my heart, mind, and soul. With all my heart, mind, and soul. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will stand by your side. I will stand by your side. And together. And together. With the help of God. With the help of God. Our love will continually grow. Our love will continually grow. Heather, would you re please repeat after me? I, Heather Hall, take you, Barry Tate, to be my wedded husband. I, Heather Hall, take you, Barry Tate, to be my wedded husband. To love and to cherish from this day forward. To love and to cherish from this day forward. I will honor you. I will honor you. And trust you. And trust you. With all my heart, mind, and soul. With all my heart, mind, and soul. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will stand by your side. I will stand by your side. And together with the help of God. And together with the help of God. Our love will continually grow. Our love will Will continually grow.
other. These rings have two characteristics. First, they are circles that have no end. And second, they're made of pure and precious metal. The circle represents the limitless nature of your love for one another. There is nothing, as long as you both shall live, that is to end your love commitment to each other. The rare metals represent the precious nature of the faith you have pledged to each other today. Metals such as this are not easily tarnished and are rare to find. Your marriage relationship is a rare relationship and should be protected from tarnishing as long as you both shall live. See it as a precious gift from God to be cherished and cared for. Barry, as you place this ring on Heather's finger, please repeat after me. With this ring, I give you this promise. With this ring, I give you this promise. Heather, as you place this ring on Barry's finger, please repeat after me. With this ring, I give you this promise. With this ring, I give you this promise. Would you both repeat after me? With all that I have. With all that, all that I have. With all that I am. With all that I am. And with all that I hope to be. And with all that I hope to be. I pledge to you my constant faith. I pledge to you my constant faith. An abiding love. An abiding love. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
for as much as you, Barry, and you, Heather, have consented in holy wedlock and have confirmed this by giving and receiving your wedding rings, by authority committed to me by the Lord Jesus Christ through his church in the state of Wisconsin, as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I now declare you husband and wife according to the ordinance of God, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's pray. Lord, I commit Barry and Heather's marriage to you and pray that you bless them with a deep love and desire for one another. I pray you guide them in their decisions, mature them in their relationship, and equip them in their service to you. I pray that you make yourself and your love very evident to them as they live their lives in what can be a difficult and painful world. Give them love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control to live a full life to your glory. And I pray this, Lord Jesus, in your precious name. Amen. Amen. Barry, my friend, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Barry Tate. <laughs>